Uh, you are a, a <laughs> and they ask congratulations. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> okay, it's okay. That's it's a cut right there. <laughs> What's up Bruin fans? Happy New Year. Welcome back to a new season of Bruin Banter. I'm your host Felicia Hano. This week our special guest is our sophomore transfer Samantha Sakti. You were amazing this past weekend. Your beam was outstanding. Oh thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. So as most gym fans know we did have our first meet this past weekend. It is the beginning of a new era with Chris becoming our new head coach. How does it make you feel to be coming into the team at a really interesting time? Um, it feels so incredible to be a part of this journey and this amazing team. And I know we're starting fresh with like a new coach and a new coaching staff, but I think that's really good for me too because I'm also new and I'm also starting fresh. I think so too. I think you came in at a really great time and I think you bring this element of like freshness to the team. Thank you. With that being said, let's get into the meat highlights. So we started off the meet on an even bars. We had Mars who went 995, amazing. absolutely amazing ice cold and then we also had Kyla who just did her thing like normal got a 9925 no big deal just boss things moving on to the balance beam honestly Sakti you were the highlight of the meet earning a perfect 10 from one of the judges how did it make you feel when you saw that 10 flash I honestly couldn't believe it it felt so surreal like like a dream I think last year I got a 9925 on floor on my first college meet and so I was like oh my gosh it would be amazing if I got a 10 that's like a dream and the fact that that happened from one of the judges, like I still can't believe it, it's crazy. Yeah, you got yeah. really emotional and it was really awesome. To yeah, see and to like hug Chris and all my teammates and Christina, it was just the best feeling in the world, so. Well, you've been working really hard, so it's well deserved. Thank you. Moving on to floor, it was an absolute floor party, like always, and the whole floor squad was really excited to debut their new floor routines, choreographed by BJ. She's been working really, really hard on the routines, as well as the girls been working on the choreography and I knew they were really excited to get out there and perform. Gracie Kramer got a 9.9. .9. With her new routine, I think the audience went crazy for that one. It was one. so scary, it was so scary. It was so scary. <laughs> Mars with her disco inspired routine got a 9.925, absolutely crushed it. So fun, I love, I always love watching Mars perform on floors. And Kyla Boss closing it out with a 9.95, absolutely amazing. I love her music because it reminds me of TikTok. <laughs> So our last event was Vault, and Kyla Boss, once again, the highlight of the event, scored a 9.9 .9 with a huge Uchenko 1.5. Another super exciting highlight of this meet is we had two all-arounders, including Mars, who this was her first time competing in the all-around. It was really awesome to see her step into that big role, especially as a sophomore. And of course, our other all-arounder was Kyla Ross, who ended up winning the meet with a 39.725. All right, Sakti, you and I go way back, like way, way back. I know, it's so crazy. I can't believe we're here right now, like, oh, wow. I know. You and I used to train together when we were literally babies. You were six, I was like eight? Yeah, I don't, I just remember I was like level four, level five, and you were like one of my first teammates. Yeah. And we competed in our like our first level four meet together. Yeah, we competed level so funny. It's so, like, it's so funny. Yeah. Have these little cute like um, I know. pigtails at the side. I was going to say, wow. Deanna's going to enter the picture and we're <laughs> going to have our little pigtails like this. It was so funny. But yeah, it's crazy that we're both here now competing for UCLA. Yeah. Super exciting. I know. And in fact, you're like not the only teammate that I've known for a long time. I used to train with Nikki Shapiro, who's on a team now, like fifth year senior, amazing, doing great things. I've also been with Sonia. She graduated and she used to be my teammate in Olympia. I competed against um, Kendall, Sakai, Savvy, a lot of, a lot of people on the team. It's yeah. nice. It's, it's like having my old family back. Yeah, yeah, it's like one big reunion. Yeah, so nice. Growing up in Southern California, UCLA has always been a big school. Did you ever want to compete here? I definitely did. I, in fact, one of my first colleges that I thought of was UCLA, but um, at that time it, it didn't work out for me and so, you know, I decided to take an opportunity and go to the East Coast, try different things and like learn to grow there. It was a fun experience. Yeah. So what kind of led you back to Southern California and to UCLA? Um, you know, my family and friends are all here and 
my mom, she's been dealing with some health issues. And so traveling too much to the East Coast, um, it puts a lot of stress on her health. And she hasn't been able to go and see any of my meets last year. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice for her to come to all my most of my meets now. And so she's been doing a lot better. Yeah, it's really yeah. exciting. And it's really cool to see them too at the meets. I haven't seen them yeah. in so long. Yeah. She was there for like the signing the autographs. She was there for our Meet the Bruins and for this first competition. It's so nice to have your support. So did your mom wait in line for the autographs? Yes, she waited in line. <laughs> it was about an hour and she was there, my brother, my dad. It was amazing. I love them. <laughs> so it was really exciting for you to come in and be a super big contributor on Beam. Talk about your series. That series is honestly so amazing and it, it just blows my mind. I used to do a back handspring lele and I've been going through some elbow problems and we thought it was best to try a no hand beam routine. And so one day I was just like, I was kind of just chucking it on the floor. Lay out loud. I was like, let's see how it goes, you know? And so Chris and Christina saw and they were like, why don't you try it on a beam? And I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? And so then I did it on the low beam. The next day I just, I just put in my routine. Yeah, it was honestly yeah. crazy. You literally learned it in like a day. I literally did, but the thing is, I think I had like all the foundation and basics from like my club coaches and especially with Christina helping me integrate more into um, building confidence and self-esteem in my skills in UCLA. So those two combined really, really helped. That's awesome. Yeah. Now moving on to Twitter questions. The first one comes from at Music Almorena and they ask, congratulations on an amazing first meet as a Bruin. What are your goals for the rest of the season? Um, so my goals for this season would definitely be to keep up with Beam, to have fun with it and stay consistent. And I think I would really like to try to make floor lineups. I, I've always loved competing floor and I competed floor um, last season and I had, a, I had so much fun with it. So nice. I hope to do that. The second question comes from at Michelle Chan 521 and they ask, you listed drawing as a hobby. What people, places, or things give you artistic inspiration? What do you like to draw? Um, you know, I like to draw cute things and like whatever comes to mind. I love to do letter lettering, um, but my inspiration comes from my mom and her, my mom's side. My grandparents, um, they owned a stationery store. And so I grew up with like surrounded with pens, pencils, papers, and you know, I just had so much fun with it. And my mom would always draw cute pictures for me when I was little growing up, so I really like to take after that. Nice, I wish I could draw. I can't draw anything. I mean, it's not professional or anything, <laughs> but you know, it's just like a little side thing I like to do for fun. So. That's awesome, that's yeah. cool. And our last Twitter question comes from at Figurnastics, and they ask, how emotional was this first meet with the Bruins? Looked like you all enjoyed yourself. Oh, I don't know what I don't know what to say to that. Um, it was definitely a roller coaster, you know. It was so fun, so exciting. It didn't even feel like I was competing. I just did what I'd been doing in practice, you know, and had some fun with it. And when I finished that with a college stick, I was just I was just so happy that I made it through my beam routine. And I I cried when they gave, when one judge gave me a ten. I cried and I was like, are these tears? Like I yeah. can't believe like you only see that in movies. Like I can't believe that happened. And it was just so wholesome. I really yeah. enjoyed it. I think what's different about our team is we compete with a lot of love and it's it's overwhelming sometimes. It was definitely overwhelming. Like the love I got afterwards, like the hugs and like the congrats from the teammates. It was so it was so much fun. I loved it. So we are super excited about our next meet. It is our home opener. It's gonna be your first time competing in Poly Pavilion. So excited. With all the fans, it's gonna be electric. So we better see you all there. It's in Poly Pavilion at 3 p.m. versus Boise State. On Pac-12 Network. It's gonna be great. Until next time, bye.